At harvest time, the air is filled with the smell of fresh fruit and vegetables. The engines happily deliver their loads to market. But one day, mist and rain swirl down Toby's line. Percy was delivering a load of fresh tomatoes. Suddenly, he felt a big bump. Bust my buffers, Percy cried. What was that? The guard put out the warning flags while Percy's driver inspected the tracks. The earth's crumbling, he said. We must tell Sir Topham Hack, decided Percy. Percy puffed back as fast as he could. I've got important news. The tracks on Toby's line are wobbly. <sighs> Puffed Gordon. Old and wobbly, just like Toby. That's not news. Can't stop to listen to your silly chatter. Gordon never listens to me, muttered Percy. Next, he spoke to Sir Topham Hatt. Sir, sir. Not now, Percy. Thomas, you are to collect the prize bull. He's at the farm on Toby's line. Yes, sir. But those tracks are wobbly, cried Percy. They are safe enough, said Sir Topham Hatt. Bye, Percy. Nobody ever listens to me. Thomas was carefully chuffing through the rain. Soon, he had collected the farmer's bull and was on his way back. The rain had made the tracks more wobbly than ever. Suddenly, there was a deep rumbling sound. Thomas's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. We're stuck. And they were. Late that night, Thomas still hadn't returned. Percy was worried. Thomas is in trouble, he said. Gordon and James took no notice. Worry wheels, huffed Gordon. Fussy funnel, said James. Please, Percy asked his driver. Can we find Thomas? Right away, said his driver. Percy was nervous, but his lamp shone brightly in the dark. The tracks creaked and wobbled, but Percy pressed on. Percy, cried Thomas. Thomas was very happy to see his friend. I'll have you out of there in no time, said Percy. Percy puffed and pulled and pulled and puffed. And finally, Thomas and his driver were free. Oh, thank you, said Thomas. I'm glad to be useful, smiled Percy. It was dawn before the track was cleared. Then Percy and Thomas made their way back home. Thomas is here, whistled Percy. Percy saved the day, said Thomas. <clears throat> agreed the bull. I'm sorry, Percy, said Sir Topham Hatt. We must do a better job of listening to you in the future. Percy was pleased. 